We now look at structure constraint. For structure constraint, we have cardinality ratios and participation constraints. First, we're going to look at cardinality ratios. We have cardinality ratios for binary relationships, which is what we have, which is what we're studying. We need to specify the number of relationship instances that an entity can participate in. These are our possible cardinality ratios. We have one to one, one to many, many to one. These two are basically the same. It just depends on how you look at them. They need to be written correctly. And then we have many to many. The reason why we use different lettering here is because we don't want to use the same constant. If we were not studying binary and we wanted more instances, you would do like M, N, O, P, and so on and so forth. So let's look at cardinality ratio 1 to 1. With cardinality ratio 1 to 1, one instance of A can be associated with only one instance of B, and only one instance of B can associate itself with one instance of A. So we have two entities here, one each, and then we have some relationship between them. A is the employee, and B is the employer. And the relationship is that A works for B. So that is our cardinality ratio 1 to 1. Now I have cardinality ratio 1 to n, 1 to many. So one instance of A can be associated with any number of instances of B. One instance of B can be associated with only one instance of A. That means that A is one person and they can have many employers. So this one person can work for many different companies. And then if it was switched, so if it was like n to one, so many to one, that means we could say that basically there's one company and they have many employees. Next on our cardinality ratio, MN, which is many to many. So here one instance of A can be associated with any number of instances of B and one instance of B can be associated with any number of instances of A. So if we have our employee, we have like a project. So employee works on this project. We have, of course, our keys, like a social security number for the employee. And then we have a project ID for this project. We can have many employees working on one project or many projects going out to one or many employees. And that's it for our cardinality ratios. We've gone over many to many one to many, many to one, and also one to one. In the next video, we're going to be looking at participation constraints.